Welcome to the Card Market YouTube channel. You wrote us a lot and you wanted us to play Infinity as soon as it came out, so that's what we're doing today. Yeah, and this set is wild. There's a lot of really weird mechanics. We've actually never played it before, so let's see how it goes. But if you got other requests of things you want us to play on the channel, just please write to shows at cardmarket.com or comment on this video or on the community post, and that's how we find out what we do for the rest of our content. But in the meantime, let's go. While looking through the uncommons and rares of my seal deck, I realized I have a lot of cards dealing with attractions and die rolling. The density was insane. So I just basically put everything into a deck and I'm really hoping that I draw one of the monitor monitor or the goblin blaster notes that work with both. So either way, I'm just fine of doing everything that the cards does and it has some effect. All right, going through my pile of cards that were in my booster pack, I realized I have a lot of white cards and a lot of black cards. And going through them, I realized a lot of these interact with stickers, which is a weird mechanic and it was super controversial when it was first spoiled. I get to just put first strike on some creatures, put death touch, uh, change their name, give them funky hats. I've got weird cards like something something spaceship. I don't know what the first two somethings are but I've got stickers for that. And a lot of the really cool stickers I would like to play cost tickets. Okay, that makes sense. I have to generate tickets. So I have things like wicker picker, which gives creatures sticker kicker. Wicker picker, sticker kicker, that's great. Um, I've got a lot of ways to generate those to make some really nice stickers and get my creatures really big real fast. Let's see how it goes. Close to seven? All right. Close to seven. Oh no, that's very far away from seven. <sighs> All right, 12 is, uh, oh, okay. That's still better than 12. Uh, so you're gonna go first. Yes, ice card. Good luck, have fun. I wish you a lot of wild cards. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even read all my cards yet. Anything that's a sticker, I just I'm, I'm figuring out as they go. All right, so you go I'm, ahead. I'm gonna play the big top, uh, which makes a mana of any color that appears on your top, which is... This. So you can tap for orange, black, white, and gray. I would assume this is red. Yeah, I'll say that's red. Okay, so I can tap Don't for Maru. Don't wizards that. I can tap for Maru, and with that, I'll cast Obviously, with my big top, I cast a strength testing hammer. <laughs> okay, uh, what does a strength testing hammer do, Todd? <laughs> so, whenever uh, equipped creature attacks, I roll a six sided die. That creature gets plus, one, uh, plus x for the result. And uh, if it has the greatest power or is tied, draw a card. Yeah, okay. Pretty good. All right. I'm, I don't have a top and a hammer. I'm just going to play planes and pass it to you. You can't have it all. I'll draw. Mm -hmm. And I play a card that's very dear to my heart as well. Uh, I play a nearby planet, which ends the battlefield top. And oh, I have you to just play one. And I made perfect mana. And I made myself an Ozus Tower, an Ozus Mine, and an Ozus Power Point. What, really? Yeah. Like, it doesn't make the mana, but it is all of those. So I basically have Tron. Wait, but this doesn't tap for seven. No, because it doesn't have the ty type, like the line it says. It mm, makes more. Yeah, yeah. So if I would play a tower now, it makes three. Uh, I can draw. Yes, sir. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a swamp. Wow, pretty lands, Carl. I know, well, they came in the packs. Um, and I think I just passed the turn. All right. Uh, uh, on tap. So now this may actually blue, which is perfect. Uh, draw, play an island. And I play DK, Finder of the Lost. So when he enters the battlefield, I open an attraction. So we'll do this. I have a custom shop. You may oh. put a sticker on an online permanent you own. That's quite good. Okay. So every time you roll a three, four, or six on your main phase, first main phase, you can put a sticker. Yes. All right. And it says if I roll a two, we drain one. If I roll a four, I tap or untap a creature or artifact. And if I roll a six, I return a creature from my graveyard to the hand. That's a lot of text, Todd. Yes. Um, what's that card in Dominary United? They just printed it. It's a one mana, destroy a creature that has power toughness collected uh, five or less. Cut down. I would like to have it. Uh, I'm going to pay one for standard procedure. I can name a card in standard. Thank you, Todd. I didn't actually know the name. Um, this Why card... didn't I say I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> you should have just chosen an instant and sorcery card. Mana value you three or less, currently legal and standard. Standard procedure becomes three. Okay. I have a cut down in my hand, Todd. Yeah, I figure. I would like to cast it on your three mana creature. Well, my one four has five or less, so it's done. Yay! I didn't even have to memorize all that text. <laughs> Very good. 
what, what is that? It's like, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> I'm sad yeah, it I'm happened. Get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Or happy it, like it happened. Yeah. Okay, I'll untap. Yeah. I'll draw. I'll play a swap. Uh, I'm going to pay three and play a part bleeder. Uh, I'm not sure what bleeder means, but it's a goat employee, which is a very good creature line of text. Uh, whenever another creature I own enters the battlefield, I get a sticker. And I may pay white and tap it and put a sticker on a creature I own that entered the battlefield this turn. Oh, that's very good. I, it's, it's very strong. Okay. It's your turn. Mm, on tap, draw. So on three, four, and six, we go there. Yep. I guess we don't go there. We don't go there. It's, it's not custom shop time yet. Okay, so I think we're gonna build up uh, a little bit of uh, my board. I mean, I'm not, okay. We play the Night Shift of the Living Dead. <laughs> That's pretty good. After I roll a die, I may pay a life. If I do, I can increase or decrease the result by one. Okay, so you get to fix, you get to pay some life to fix your die roll. Once each turn. Okay, one time. If I roll a six, whenever I roll a six, doesn't need to be on Even this one. Even if you roll it for this? Yes. I get a 2-2 black zombie employee. I'll draw. I'm going to start by smacking you in the face for two. Mm -hmm. You thought it was all fun and games, but really... Yeah, it's like, why are you already... You get punched in the face by a goat employee. Didn't, don't you know no attacking before turn seven? I'm going to play a swamp. Yeah. Oh. And then I'm going to pay four for a pin collection. Yes. Like early punk rock, I covered my sash with a bunch of pins. When pin collector enters the battlefield, you may put an ability sticker with ticket cost X or less on it without paying that sticker's ticker cost. Uh, Equip creature has plus one plus one and all abilities of ability stickers on pin collection. Um, I have that cost three or less. I have here is when this permanent leaves the battlefield, you may destroy target creature with power four or greater. Pin Collection now has, when this permanent leaves the battlefield, you may destroy target creature with power four or greater. Okay, I untap. And draw. Oh god, complicated. So, main phase stuff. Okay, first you roll a dice. Yeah. Oh, what happens again when you get a six? Uh, well, I... You get a zombie employee. I don't have any zombie employees. First, like, I'm doing this, Okay. so I'm moving here. Like, I do this. So now I may put a sticker on a non-impermanent you own. Wouldn't you want to put the zombie employee? That way you can potentially put a sticker on it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they both trigger at the okay. same time. Like, I can choose which one. But I don't have... Like, the thing is, I don't have any um, tickets, so I can't pay for them. Mm. And I can put something you in You can give art. it a goofy hat. Okay. I made myself a zombie. All right, and now let's just pretend that it's employed. Yeah, exactly. We we need to find out where it's employed, and I'm pretty sure that zombie is like a snake keeper. Snake keeper. <laughs> a snake keeping. Working zombie. in this in the zoo. Very fitting. And then we're gonna cast a Vidokin squirrel. Whack out. Ooh, it's rare and it's mean to squirrels. Uh, could you give it a read? Yes. When or as and as the battlefield, roll a six-sided die twice. The first time it becomes the power. The second time, it becomes the toughness. Whenever I roll a die, instead, I roll them and exchange them with power and toughness if I want to. So instead, so, so if, you, if this I'm is a three, three and you roll a six, you can decide to have rolled a three and put a six here. Exactly. Okay, so that's... And that. then I've rolled a three. All right. All right? I get it. So, so this is the power. Roll power first. All right. It's pretty strong. And the toughness. 4-3. So I'm gonna go to 17 and add one to this. So it's a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Chunk. Chunk chunk. All right. Off you go. I'll on top, I'll draw. This is where my lands start becoming less pretty. It's still full art. So how many hands do we have access to? One, two, you have two hands, right? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play a real handful. Um, it's adorable. Uh, it's an alien child guest. As long as one or more hands are touching, a real handful gets plus one, two plus two. Now, Todd, as long as one or more hands are touching, am I touching my own hand? No. Like, does this count as touching your hand? I'd assume so. Or Spider-Man. Um, as long as two or more hands are, are touching, it has menace. Like this. Like this. Okay. Or like this. Menace. 
Um, no, or like very for, short. for really very <laughs> brief second. <We're> good. <laughs> I have to attack right at the moment. Uh, as long as three or more hands are touching, which is probably not going to happen because you don't want to give my creatures life link, uh -huh. it has life link. If I had a friend here, we could just be buds, and then I could give it life link. But I am alone. And when it enters the battlefield, I will get a ticket. Mm. So haha, this is my ticket stub block. Right. Doink. And then I will put a sticker on a creature that entered the battlefield in my control this turn. It's going to be. A real cheese. Is this a fake cheese? No, it's a real cheese. It's so on the card. Well, can I eat it now? Please no. <laughs> and although it's a real cheese, even, actions have consequences. Even if I had a real cheese, eating my cheese tart would be rude and frowned upon. And it's your turn. All right, I'll draw. Uh, yeah, let's roll. Oh come on! Is that is that on the screen? Nice. Uh, it's not on the screen, but it's a six. Well, naturally. I will make a zombie. Okay. And then I don't think I have stickers, but let's see what can we do with the whacker. Oh, I, I mean, obviously this is a no-brainer. He gets sunglasses. Uh, this sticker thing is very powerful. Yes, <laughs> clearly you have sunglasses and a snake. Well, let me uh, electrocute the real cheese. How much damage does that deal? Two damage. In response? Yeah. I would like to hold my hands. That's fair. And then I would like to electrocute. So it deals two damage to any target. It goes okay. to my graveyard. And then you may cast electrocute from your graveyard as long as you have rolled a six this turn. How convenient. Ah, you have. Yeah. So if you cast electrocute this way, it would be in your graveyard exiled instead. So we'll cast it on this one. Okay. So I am aware that there's two damage on my real cheese. Mm. So I have to do this like this. Mm, interesting. Goodbye. Nice. Well done. Ah, I didn't. Three <laughs> it had <like> life link. <laughs> I, th I thought you might fail for it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna attack with my zombie and his snake pet and my 4-4 four, four, Vidalkin Squirrel Whack. I'll take six damage. Mm, yes, sir. Go to 14. Uh, that's me. Go ahead. Okay, my turn? Yes. I can let go. You can let go. Untap, draw. This feels bad, but I'm just gonna black hole. Um, it's going to destroy a creature, and up to X other target creatures where X is the number of attractions I visited this turn. Unfortunately, oh none of those God. happened. Um, he was just too cold for school. Who's the beatdown? You have three cards in hand? Yeah. Oh, but you can make so many zombies. I'm just gonna pass the turn to you. I can also equip my strength testing hammer on one of my zombies. Oh, yeah. Just to see how strength testing is, you know? I uh, will draw. All right, let's roll. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you Did you bring your own dice? <laughs> you can't make this up. Wait, I'm going to try another one. Oh. Uh -huh, it doesn't happen every time. Would you like to put a sticker on something? Uh, I mean, naturally, right? So, I would assume all my hordes of zombies need to have like a leader. So this is like the big brain. Done. He's done it. Zombies just look for brains. He ah, found a brain. Found I, I don't think that makes him the leader of the zombies. I think that makes him the target of the other zombies. Oh, it rolls a die, eh? Yeah, let's let's equip a zombie. Oh, you want to get another zombie? Uh, I mean, obviously the zombie with the brain needs to have the strength testing hammer. That makes sense. And then we thought about it. Yeah, and then when a creature attacks, roll a six-sided die. Okay, would you like to roll a dice? Yeah, you know what's coming, right? <laughs> oh, if it's a six, I swear, if it's a six out of... <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh. oh. You, you deserve that, you know what? You deserve that. So that gives him plus one plus oh. All right. And then if it has the greatest power or it's tight for greatest power, I draw a card. That's a thing. You draw a card. All right, draw. Ooh, very good. Take three. I'll take three. Eleven. Eleven. And I play a mountain, and it's your turn. Okay, I'll untap. I'll drop a turn. I'm getting really jealous of your attraction over there. So I'm gonna give myself one of No, not attraction, like your uh. animal magnetism. Uh, of no, your... I thought you steal my costume shop. Oh, no, That'd no, yeah, you keep your costume shop. I'm okay. getting a bounce chamber. Uh, visit whenever I pay a two or a six. Return a creature you don't control with the lowest toughness amongst creatures you don't control to its owner's hand. Um, I think I want to keep the real cheese back for now. All right, my turn. Yep. Let's time. Let's make another zombie. <laughs> uh, if... All right, draw. Ooh. All right. Um, let's roll a die. Oh. Oh, 
See, now your dice rolling is a lot more reasonable. It's settled down, it's tired. But I feel like we didn't roll as many dice, so we do one more. Centaur of Attention. When Centaur of Attention enters the battlefield, roll five six-sided dice. Oh, come on, okay. And store those results on it. So they're stored on the card, right? At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may re-roll any number of Centaurs of Attention stored results. So I roll five dice. All right. Da -da -da. So, so the now, result is a six. Now all of them are now stored on this card. Okay. Now it gets plus X plus X, where X is the highest amount of same values stored. So right now it gets plus super three. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. But I will pay one and 16. go to 16 and make this a two. So now it's plus four plus four. Yeah, now it's a seven. seven. John, I knew this is a running guide on our channel, but I don't think we have enough dice for this card. <laughs> <laughs> also, because I rolled a six, I uh, will make a zombie. Whoa, this is tough. This is getting out of hand. Actually, now I realize a mistake I made, but it's fine. Like, I, I, I probably shouldn't have paid because I now realized at the beginning of my combat, you may reroll any number of center of stored results. I'm just gonna roll all of them because I want more sixes. So I just ah. paid a life for nothing, but you know, but so, so sometimes you just flex. Yes. All right, let's roll again. Another six for a zombie. Okay, another zombie. Wow, that card is good. All right. Uh, so this one is now 5-5 five, five because it has two things stored. Yes. Okay. It's pretty likely that, I mean, we just don't hit a one and then we draw a card. Well, I'm just gonna steal your one and re-roll it into something else. Uh, <laughs> well, you stole my one. You were a line there. Uh, do you get to draw a card to tell? No. I would like to. It's uh, currently a 3-2. Yes. I would lock, like, I would, I would like to block with my ride guide. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Not very big brainy, my friend. All right, brain zombie goes goes back. Go ahead, I feel okay. like that was a good turn. So I feel like I have to find a way to kill this, mostly just because we don't have enough dice to maintain <laughs> this. I'm gonna draw for turn. I'm going to roll for this. Two to six. Two! Uh, so return a creature that I don't control with the lowest toughness among creatures I don't control. Uh, snake guy can say, he's chill. Um, I'm gonna bounce this one. All right, zombie's gone. I'm gonna play a land. I'm going to pay two to equip um, the pin collector mm -hmm. onto my real cheese. Okay. A real cheese. Also, I really liked having attractions. It was, felt really good bouncing that zombie. Let's open two more. Let's step right up. Woohoo! Two attractions. Open two attractions. I get a trash bin. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. But a two to six. So if I hit a two or six, oh, I trigger twice. That's cool. I mill two cards, then return a card at random from my graveyard to my hand. Not bad. I had to wrestle a squirrel for it, but I won. Words to live by. Well, well done. Yeah, well, well, done. well done. You beat a squirrel. And I also get a clown extruder, which if I get a four or six, oh man, I'm popping on sixes. Uh, I create a one one white clown robot artifact creature token. Um, so that's pretty good. I'll pass the turn to you. All right, upkeep, nothing, draw. Uh, I will yeah, you can borrow my one. Okay, it's, oh. Five? It doesn't even do anything. <laughs> you, nothing happened. Nice, okay. nice theme park you've got there. So I will play a Resolute Vegisaur. Uh, when you roll your third die each turn, put a counter on it. Okay. Right. Oh, that happens often. That happens often. Uh, on each turn, yes. And then I'm gonna specifically thank you. You're welcome. For um, using the pin collection because I will make a trigger happy. Choose a triggered ability of target permanent. So I would choose this one of the equipment. Okay, the one with the sticker? Yeah, it triggers, you control that ability. So now I destroy something with powerful or greater. Hey! <laughs> Thank um, you, Carl. Thank are you, you for your service. What, what, are you, what are you destroying? Well, this one. That makes sense. It's dead. Okay. Oh. And then we're gonna be yep. in the beginning of combat and roll. That's one more. That's one six. All right, that's another zombie. It's annoying. All right, add a zombie yeah. and then we're gonna... So this is a five of... No, yeah, we're gonna just smack you. Uh, that's a hell of a smacking. That's so much damage, Dodd. Um, I'm gonna block the five five. I'm gonna kill this. Yeah. I take six. Uh, yes, I got five. this one gets a counter. Yes. Finally, we got rid of the dice menace. That card is good. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, go ahead. I'll untap. 
I'll ask for a miracle. I'll draw for all of these. I'll roll for all of these. Hey! Oh, Wait, now all of those happen? Oh yeah, I, I return every, I visit every attack. So I'll take you on a tour. First, oh, we course. go to the bounce chamber. Yes. Boing, 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 gone. Yeah. Uh, th then, <laughs> I don't know why, but after the bounce chamber, we felt like going to the trash bin. I'll mill two cards. Yeah. One, two, all those seem pretty good. Um, and then- Return a random card? Ran return a random card. Okay. Uh, it's, it's not only a trash bin, it's like a magic show. Would you, thank you. Oh, the black hole. What? Oh, that's super good! Oh, oh that's no! So good. That is so good because you know where we're going. We've been to two attractions. Uh, Tom, would you also like to go to the oddly named Clown Extruder, uh, which will create a one-one uh, Clown Robot Artifact Creature token? Boink. And then, how many, um, Tom? How many attractions would you say we visited today? <laughs> Three. Three. Um, I liked the black hole. Uh, we're gonna go there again, somehow. Event horizon twice. Uh, whoosh, gone. All right, they popped away. And then I will just equip the pink collection on the clown robot, which looks like a taco. And it's your turn. Wow. I can hear the ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the jackpot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the lottery numbers for this game are... <laughs> and the turn is yours. Wow! Okay. Not real. Draw. Uh, you roll a dice. Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Two. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Alright. Well, let's uh, play a space family of goblins. Oh, that was the first card spoiled from this. Whenever you roll a die, put a plus or minus one counter on it. If it has... It has trample as long as I roll three or more dice. Okay. And I will play a mountain and it's your turn. Hmm. All right, I'll untap, I'll draw. I will roll a dice. One, nothing happens. I'm gonna attack you with a two-two. Yeah. Clown robot. I'm going to animate graveyard, which I love. Um, it's an aura. I enchant my graveyard. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Enchant Graveyard is a creature on the battlefield with base and power toughness equal to the equal to the cards that are in it. It has the text boxes of all creature cards, and it's still a graveyard. If Enchanted Graveyard would leave the battlefield and self exile, animate graveyard. Okay, so right now you can give it plus two plus two if you touch your hand. And menace. Yeah, and you get those things for your creatures. Yeah, and I can put stickers on the creatures that enter the battlefield. And I'm gonna equip my pin collection onto my graveyard. So wait, now this is actual... Huge! 8-8? Eight, eight. <laughs> yes! Uh, wait, 10-10. Ten, ten. Yeah. My turn? Go. Uh, draw. Let's roll the die. Ooh! Six! Six! Ding, okay, ding, you get another ding. zombie. I get a zombie. And I can put a sticker on something. Well... Not the brain again. Not the brain again? Okay, we can, we can switch up the brain. Uh, do you want? I, I have a very good nose and glasses for you that I can suggest. Sharing is It's the principle of magic. Here you go. Oh, beautiful. You roll the dice. Since I rolled the die from attraction, I do this. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like I want to get hit as much from your graveyard <laughs> because it's eleven damage. Yeah. So we're gonna play. <laughs> I attempt to murder your graveyard. What? So I play attempted murder. Choose a creature. I choose your graveyard. Roll a six-sided dice. For each even result, put two minus one minus one condors on that creature. For each odd result, create a one-two bird creature token with flying named Stormcrow. So now I uh, have three odds and one even. Yes. So I would say we make the one into a two. You take one life. Damn and then it. I go to 13. Uh, that means I get two... Uh, I get a zombie for the six. Okay. And do we have Stormcrow tokens? I have one, I think. Here. Stormcrow token. Uh, okay. Uh, two Stormcrows. It gets minus four, minus four. All right. Counters. So, this. You now have a graveyard that has minus four, minus one. <laughs> and also this one gets four counters. And it's pretty a, big. It's a six, six now. Right? Yes. This is far away. So your graveyard is now for a 5-5? Five, five? So it's an 8-8 eight, eight 
that becomes a 9-9 because of the pin collection. That has minus one, minus four, minus four, so until I touch my hands together, it's a 5-5. Five, five. But it can get a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yes. That's not good. 7-7 seven, seven is too much. All right, then it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw. I'm going to roll a dice for all my chambers. Six! Oh um, I'm going to bounce the... The Stormcrows are one, yeah, two? Either Stormcrow or Zombie. I'm gonna bounce a Zombie. Yeah. It's gone. Uh, but the, the ugly one, this one is... I'm gonna mill two cards. Oh, okay. And then return a card at random. Ha, now you make it smaller. From my graveyard to my hand. Mm, this one. Ooh, oh, the attraction guy. Um, so minus four, minus four. And then I'm going to get a clown token. Robot clown. Okay. I'll start with a Grand Marshal Macy. Um, oh God, it's a mythic. It's a mythic. It's a three mana two two. And she's got a lot of text. It's a little confusing. It's when you, you may choose not to untap her during your untap step. Mm -hmm. If you do, put a pause counter on it. Then you lose one life for each pause counter on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whenever Macy becomes untapped, remove all pause counters from it. So I, I can keep her tapped for a while. Take cumulative upkeep damage. Mm -hmm. But if I pay you two and tap her, you can choose an until end of turn effect. And as long as she remains tapped, that effect doesn't end. So if my creature gets plus seven, plus seven until end of turn, I can tap her, take damage every turn, uh, but at least that creature becomes, stays big. All right, um, because of those, you get two stickers. Because of this. Oh, I do get two stickers. Yes. And then, yes. And the I will pay five. What? Um, yes. I have five mana floating. Before I cast this card, I need to ask you, Todd. Yeah? What's the name of my graveyard? Richard. No. You can't, you don't, you don't decide, it's my graveyard. <laughs> no, uh, what I, I used to say it's is, just called graveyard. It's, that's it like, it doesn't say, right? It's a creature called graveyard. Enchanted right? graveyard is a creature, yeah, it doesn't say, it's just graveyard. It's a very awkward name, but you know. It's an awkward name, but, I mean, uh, I'm gonna cast another, oh, this one, this is not an awkward name. I'm gonna cast a gray merchant of alphabet. Uh, yeah, you heard it right. When a gray merchant of alphabet enters the battlefield, I choose a letter. Mm. I'll choose R. Okay. Like a pirate would. Um, and for each creature Sorry. I control with the chosen letter in its name, I gain one life and you lose one life. And it's all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. So I go back up to 10. And I go to eight. You go to eight. And you get a sticker. And I do get another uh, thing for my stickers. Another ticket. When the sticker's gonna come, it's gonna be good. Crazy. Okay. And now, I would like to attack you. So your graveyard hits me? <laughs> you never thought you'd say this. That's just rude. I'm going to give it menace. So this one is now how big? It's nine plus one, which is 10, minus four, which is six, plus two, which is eight. Okay, eight. And I, so eight means I actually have to block it, huh? Most likely, yes. Mm. Unless unless you're done with playing this game. Yeah, um, we're gonna block with with a zombie and a, and a crow. Okay, well, they both die. Yeah, all right. And I'll pass it to you. Okay. I think we need some serious help. Draw. Then you get to roll a dice. Yeah. Four. Hey, I put a sticker on something. <laughs> Yay! Well, let's do this. Now we have a stone crow with the mask. Okay, we rolled one, this one gets a counter. You know what? Let's do it. I have no idea what happens, but well, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Which is mostly what we've been doing so far in this game. I will call, phone a friend. <gasps> call someone, ask them to choose one. Well, it makes sense, choose one. <laughs> if they don't answer, an opponent chooses one, we ignore that, hopefully. And then, mm. it's A, B, C already. Are you calling Jan? Mm -hmm. Hey. Jamin, I need you to choose A, B, C, or D. I know you did a short on this, and I didn't remember which one to pick. Good one. I think B was the bad one, so I'm gonna go with B. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, man, you come in once more! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you very much. Whew! Yeah, man, always got my back. So what happens with Beta? Choose side creature you control. Create two copies that are each copies of it. So. The Space Family Goblinson now has... But two. they're legendary. 
Oh no. Would you like three star cups? <laughs> I mean, yes. No, but yes. All right. Yeah, men. Yeah, men. Yeah, men. <laughs> Good. I would say that went unreasonably bad. Well, I have a story. You have nothing that flies, right? <laughs> no, I do not. Uh, yeah, here. Eat it. I'll go to nine. Go ahead. I'll untap. I'll drop. I'll roll a dice. Six! Oh, Tal! It's like you gave me your luck when we high-fived earlier. Um, I'm gonna bounce and untap Stormcrow. Um, I'm gonna mill two cards. Then return one of them to my hand at random. This is a good combo. The Trashman is great with the anime graveyard. Oh, I wanted that one! <laughs> what is this? Then I'm gonna create another uh, goblin. Uh, it's clown robot. When the clown robot enters the battlefield, I get another ticket. I have bad news for myself. For yourself? Yeah. Your graveyard now flies. <laughs> because you have a creature with flying. Okay, um, so I, I, I assume I win soon, but I would just like to find out if I can fly to new heights and accomplish this task that when I read it, I did not believe this would be possible. Uh, I'm gonna cast a form of the approach of the second sun. All right, Carl. Yes. What does it do? <laughs> Um, when this enchantment enters the battlefield, you gain 7 life. Woo! 16. You become a card until you leave your library, or that library is shuffled. I never thought I'd read that. Put yourself 7 from the top, balancing the cards on top of your head. So when I draw myself, I win the game. Uh, when one or more cards fall off of my head, I exile them, and all cards on your head, and I sacrifice this enchantment. Okay. So I'm a card. One, two, three. Four, five, six. These go on top of my head. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to arrange my head as nest-like as I can. Wait, are you just... Now that's cheating! This works. What? No! Oh! I think that doesn't count yet. Uh, you need to have like a... As soon as you say it now, it yeah, counts. Yeah. As soon as they're on top. Seven cards is more cards than I thought to... Okay. 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 Now I cannot move. <laughs> I, I, you still no no it's it's as soon as you say go it's a go okay but you don't get infinite tries okay <laughs> it's not as easy as I thought your hair is too greasy all right so now you need to you, you cannot tilt your head I can't move high five for lifelink no <laughs> <laughs> okay uh one thing you get a ticket for the creature. Oh, you did it already. <laughs> I want to have it. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, oh. these are exiled. I sacrifice this enchantment. This, this goes to my graveyard. Yeah, which makes it bigger. Um, I, I'm upset now. I, it's, it's a good day to pie. I'm going to tap your two flying storm crows. Okay. That's rude. And whenever I put a name sticker on it, I can return a good day to pie from a graveyard to my hand. Okay. It's currently in my graveyard. Tough? Yeah, eight. Mm -hmm. My graveyard is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's currently an 8 8. I never, now it's a 10 10. I never died to a graveyard before. <laughs> Would you like a first? Yes. I will attack you for 10. Yes, sir. With lifelink. With lifelink. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Jamin. <laughs> it's all Yavin. Well, I have to say, losing to a flying menace graveyard that can have lifelink doesn't feel too bad. It's I swear, if you tell anyone else, they go yeah. like, how did your match go today? Well, I, got, I took a lethal from a graveyard. They yeah. won't believe you. Kind of a novelty, so I'm, I'm pretty fine with that. I would also like to thank Yamin for this great oh, victory. Oh, no, I already forgot about him. Oh, no. oh who like, thankfully came like Gandalf on the horizon with a stampede of horse people. It just reminds you that you have to pick your friends very carefully. I did. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> yes, you did. In the meantime, <laughs> Don't forget to sub. If you did like this, we wouldn't have done Infinity unless you guys wrote in and suggested it. We realized, was it a lot of fun? Yeah, it was uh, an amazing experience. And if you want to see many of the other things uh, we do, look at the channel. If you want us to do something, recommend it. You can always get in touch and like, subscribe. And see you in the next video.